Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411, and today we're going to go ahead and get the Celtic Cross reading going for the sign of Gemini. Gemini already spoke with spirit, and so we're ready to just jump right into your reading and also shuffle, okay? So, bottom of the deck card is the Emperor, whoa, and the High Priestess. So these are the two highest forms or beings in the deck so you got an emperor and you got the high priestess uh no one tops the emperor what he says goes he has the last word the last say and this is a high priestess she's divinely connected supremely connected to the divine to spirit to god to the ancestors and she's all about knowing spiritual knowing she has spiritual intuition out this world she would know something without like physically having proof there's someone who's psychic someone who's a medium someone who could show you spiritual wisdom and teach you about spiritual wisdom so you're divinely connected and you're super powerful two of the highest cards of the deck this would be an awesome couple like an amazing amazing couple so we'll get more clarity as we go along but <laughs> these two are at the bottom of the deck you can't beat this go right ahead Gemini. Next card we got is, wow, the Justice card. So you swinging heavy right out the gate, Gemini. You got three of the most powerful cards in the deck, all major arcana. These two are at the end of the deck for you, and this is one of your first cards you pull. So this is justice. This is a karma card. So you're doing something right. I'm very proud of you to see this just shows you're doing the, all the right things you need to do. And justice is shining in your favor because if it wasn't, you would be getting karma uh, on the opposite end. But these two just show spiritual discipline, spiritual connection at its finest and spiritual judgment in your favor what a blessing you're a blessing and you deserve this gemini go right ahead beautiful 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 look at the colors in all of these cards looking like superman go ahead y'all or superwoman or both <laughs> all right next card we got whoa gemini here you go you might have one of the best readings I've seen. You got the sun. <laughs> the best card in the deck. You got the emperor, the high priestess, justice in your favor to give you total abundance. Holy smokes. These are your first few cards. Yeah, these two were at the bottom of the deck, but that's significant. That had to get pulled. And then you get Justice in the Sun next. Woo! This is super powerful. You are super powerful all the time, but especially this week. God is blessing y'all. Blessing y'all. Go ahead, Gemini. Next card we got four of swords so yeah this is about taking your spiritual time out you know spirit has you on um time out so you don't want to go against it you want to take this time out for you get back centered get back connected with yourself your higher self you know the drill with your ancestors those guardian ain't I can't even talk those guardian angels that are still with us that we forget about that are all around, all around us all the time. All we have to do is call out to them. They're waiting for us to speak with them. We're spiritual beings, so we're always connected. We're intertwined with one another. Be that you're here in the physical or you're in the unseen. Don't get it twisted and think we're so far away from each other in different realms. We are magical beings. If we connect we have to connect. We have to get back centered. We have to be balanced. And then we can use our magic and understanding to go further, deeper with the creator. And signs and symbols will give you answers. And so will other people just in conversation. Or you'll be watching a movie and somebody says exactly what you need to hear. But you need to be in balance to be able to pick up those signs. So do this for yourself this week, okay? Go ahead, Gemini. Not getting down on you. You're doing everything you need to be. It's just you want to be in balance so you can enjoy this and go to this 
you know, when the time is right, because it's coming in fast for you. It's time for a blessed timeout, okay? All right, Gemini. Next card we got. Oh, see what I mean? So, yeah, this is coming from being, like, really betrayed, backstabbed in life, be it from a job, friends, family, you know, could be a loved one. Sometimes, you know, we go through this because we got to learn, you know, our worth. And so to get betrayed like this, to feel all those swords in our back takes us to this four. It's like a back to the future. Even though you're going to the 10, you're going back to the four to rest and relaxation, to connecting with God, to connect them to what matters most. You know, you, you matter most, you know, you own your body. Don't get that confused. You own your own body. You get to say what time it is, what you need. You know, take time out for yourself, okay? This uh, probably is going to be split up because I storage issues. But uh, we're almost done with the first half of your cards. But, yeah, this is backstabbing, and this is a spiritual timeout.